Hey, this is my new horse. Her name is Rory. And this is Fears of the Kingdom. Today, we're going to be exploring the sky, the underground, and all of the wonderful things they can offer us. If you'd like a stationary sky platform like you just saw, find an Octorok platform in master mode, place an Octo Balloon on it, and hold down Rivali's Gale without letting go to lift it up. Once you reach the peak of the updraft, press B to cancel Rivali's Gale. We can keep doing this until we reach 1,100 meters, the highest Octo Balloons can go without popping, because Nintendo felt like programming what a balloon should do in the low pressure of the sky. There's a fact for you, Max Blumenthal of GameSpot. This gives us a great vantage point to see everything the sky has to offer. Wow! There's an invisible sky island over there. Let's go to it! <laughs> this place is just brimming with content. Okay, I'm breaking character. This is the top of one of the air walls, the things we explored past in this video. Since they're just very large box-like invisible walls, they have a top to them that we can stand on. These ones are shorter than the sky ceiling, so you can just simply fly to the top of them. If you haven't learned how to fly yet, check the description. Speaking of the sky ceiling, FUCK YOU! There's more invisible sky islands above it. Larger ones. But how do we reach them? We must enter the dragon portal. And then we must blow ourselves up 200 times at the sky ceiling to bypass it. Breathtaking freedom. Never before seen treasures await us. Sky treasures. New sights to see. In this game, it's all about crafting your own adventure. Let's try to replicate this iron golem in the trailer. All right, I need a jack-o'-lantern for this. And more iron. Never mind. On another note, I think this is the highest anyone has ever rested at a campfire. This is my world record. <laughs> so hard to breathe up here. It's so cold. Hello everyone. In this game, you may come across vehicles Link can use to travel across the land of Hyrule. But did you know that you can also craft them as well? Take this minecart for example. Now we just take this horse and... It's a makeshift car. Depending on what you encounter, you can create a number of different things. This car only has one horsepower, but imagine what we could do if we had two, or three. The possibilities are nearly endless. I hope you will have fun sticking your horses onto things. Dang, Ruin Guardian got in my way. Let's see, what she got? Oh my god, oh my god, wait, no wait, oh my god, guys, this- Gears of the Kingdom?! Oh my god, they did it. The gameplay is just so deep. <laughs> Let's go even deeper. 
It's time to explore beneath Hyrule. There's a whole alien world down here. Hills of water. Pillars of water. Mountains of water. And there's holes in that water. Some parts of the water will set you on fire. Others will forcibly drown you. There's also patches of the void. Don't look into it for too long, just take a picture and move on. If you explore beneath Narrow Hill, we will discover a brand new location. You can't say you've 100% completed this game unless you've swam in the purple Kool-Aid Lake. Also, don't explore beneath Hyrule if you got photosensitive epilepsy. Sometimes the massive amount of content is overwhelming to the eyes. Now, I'm going to show you what this game is all about. A secret beneath Hyrule. Well, what did you think? I hope you're all excited to explore this new Hyrule in The Legend of Zelda Rears of the Kingdom. Wait a second, what is that? Thank you.